Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Um, yeah, so since well, the, the, my last video, which obviously was, what, about a week ago, uh, stuff has happened. I'm sure a lot of you watching this would have already seen, um, but for those of you that haven't, let me just uh, put it sort of like in simple terms for you. What do I mean by this? Uh, what I mean is that D DSP um, reacted to one of my videos on his DSP Reacts. Reacting on stream uh, channel, and he basically had a meltdown. Um, and you're probably thinking, oh, what video was it? Was it the video where you called him out for scamming people over Project 7? Was it the video where you called him out for his scam wedding? Was it the video where you called him out on his 2K cat? Was it your video ranting about his bankruptcy situation? No, it was the video where I made a parody of him eating noodles. This gave this fucking 40-year-old gout-ridden hippopotamus a fucking full-on meltdown. And, yeah, I, I, I don't even know what to say, man. Like, literally, um, <laughs> I was just sort of, like, chilling, playing my PlayStation, and I got a message from Phil Collins. And he basically just, um, <laughs> he basically just showed, like, a screenshot of DSP reacting to my pot noodle video. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, of course, immediately I tune in. Uh, it's already started at this point. And all I hear is, this guy's a fucking idiot. What, look at his nonsense. He's fucking nonsense. I'm like, I've just... Anyway, the point is, like, what we're going to do today is I'm going to watch his reaction to my uh, pot noodle parody. And then he, he then, right, not only did he get mad while he's watching the parody... He then, after the stream over, he went, very nice. All right, guys, I'm going to go. And then he fucked off and went down to have his dinner. Cat had made some homemade beans in a fucking paper bowl, his favourite. And then he comes back up and he's still fucking pissed. So we're going to watch um, a, cl a clip after that of him returning after his, his dinner, you guys, where he's basically still pissed off at me. Now, before I get started as well, he also has said... Um, that he is going to uh, talk about me. Well, he said that he's going to bring up the situation, meaning my parody video, I guess, uh, on his level one podcast today. Um, and at the time of recording this, level one podcast hasn't happened. So obviously, I can't react to. If he does say, I mean, he might back down and not say anything about me. But basically, if he does, then I'll react to that in a later video because it hasn't happened yet. And, you know, I'm not a time traveler. So, yeah. Um, uh, you know, anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Let's get to it. And here's another one. This guy makes fun of me. Let's give his stupid intro. He makes fun of me for my review of Cup Noodles. If you're not aware, when I was playing Final Fantasy 15 many years ago, so this was like six, seven years ago when it first came out, it was a new release, they had Cup Noodles in the game, okay, as a product placement advertisement. So I decided that I was going to actually do a Cup Noodles DSP Tries It, back when I used to do DSP Tries It, which was like a, a taste test show. But Just want to stop there quickly, just to say two things. One, I do agree with him. My, in my old intro was shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I don't know why I ever thought that was good. But there you go. Uh, and the other thing is, um, I'm glad that right here he says, advertisement. He, that has bugged me for years. I mean, obviously, th this video, this pot noodle video, by the way, was I uploaded six years ago. So this was obviously, like, fucking a ticking time bomb. This is me playing the long game. He's only just reacting to it now. Something I did six years ago is pissing him off. But anyway, even back then, it bugged me that he went, advertisement. And it's funny that he actually just said it then. I even say uh, in the parody, advertisement, just like he says it. So that was just very fitting. But I also, I think I didn't grab a fork to, to actually, like, fork the noodles with. So their biggest criticism I got during it was that basically I, w I kept using a spoon to try to eat noodles and the noodles would like slip out of the spoon or whatever. All right. But that was it. Like, so it, uh, somehow it became legendary. Everyone making fun of me for e eating cup noodles or something. I'm like, okay, I don't know what you're really making fun of me for. I mean, the list of things to make fun of you is endless. But I mean, when I made this video, it was literally just... I just wanted to do a parody and you did the noodle one and I thought it was fucking A, boring and like also really fucking unentertaining. So I just wanted to to parody it. It was like nothing more, no more thought went into it other than that. I just thought, yeah, I'm just going to do a parody of his stupid noodle video because this is a grown fucking man like cooking, or cooking, you don't even call it cooking, 
like making some noodles and he then he uses a fucking spoon like an absolute fucking greasy moron he goes, what you, you gotta use a spoon you guys do you eat porridge with a fork like what the fuck man like how are you like obviously he wasn't 40 back then so he must have been like mid 30s how have you not eaten like a cup noodle pot noodle how do you not know like this is very basic shit man i don't know but yeah anyway all right but well, all right let's see with a brand new DSL tricep. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, DSL tricep is a series where I basically eat things and put adverts on the videos so I get paid for eating, basically. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, uh -huh. so, uh, what you can expect from this sort of video is uh, shaky uh, camera work, and uh -huh. my hand will feature heavily because I point at things on screen because well my viewers are quite stupid and they don't know what I'm talking to so if I say I'm trying this and I don't point at it they won't know he's having a problem with me pointing at things in a video he thinks that's bad that I pointed at something in a video would you prefer to just stare at the, the noodles on the counter with nothing no you fucking fat gout ridden fucking behemoth no I, I don't i don't give a shit like honestly first of all it's not a criticism i'm not making a criticism of you pointing it this is a parody this isn't a criticism video i have videos criticizing you this is just a parody but when you're saying what what would you rather have just to have the noodles on the screen i don't care don't just don't insult my fucking intelligence when i'm watching you eat fucking noodles when you're filming a fucking cup of noodles it's 90% of the fucking screen. You don't need to point at it. I'm not going to oh, wear the noodles. Where are they? Like, I fucking can see them. You don't need to point at them. That was my fucking, like, joke there, is the fact that you just point. You've just got this big fucking hand. So your hand takes up, like, 75% of the screen now. The noodles take up, like, the remaining fucking 25%. And, like, we could have just had, like, most of the screen be noodles. You don't need to point. If you did not point, no one would be in the comments going, Where are the noodles? He says he's trying the noodles, but I can't see them. Are these noodles John Cena? Like, it's fucking dumb. What, the hand thing actually originated with, with Release Day Unboxing, if you're not aware. Because during Release Day Unboxing, I used to unbox a game and I would open up with my hands and show you all the things inside of it. So I kind of got used to pointing and doing mannerisms with my hands during videos. And sometimes this would carry over to DSP Tries It with food. Later, what ended up happening was eventually I turned the camera on me and it would be me eating the food rather than me doing stuff with my hands in the food. But in this case, this is a rare case where I kept the camera on the food because you, how am I going to aim a camera at me trying to eat these noodles i wanted to show me making the noodles and everything you know adding the water and showing what it actually looked like inside the cup dude he's so fucking boring he's so fucking boring that he's actually giving us the origin story of where pointing at things in his video comes videos come from why does that even have an origin story that's fucking stupid why is this even a thing why didn't you just say yeah i point at things big deal who cares like why is this like well i'm gonna show this uh this guy, because I have an origin story, you guys. You're so boring. You have an origin story while you point at things and D DSP tries it. You're fucking boring. I mean, this is this this is a guy who, on his Phil's Day Off segment, is is like his days off are so fucking mundane. Yet he talks about them like they're exciting. Like, ooh, me and Kit went to the supermarket, you guys, and we bought some. Uh, we bought a pie. Wow, riveting. I can't wait for the fucking movie. But this guy actually has a problem with me pointing at things in a video. That's his criticism. And shaky cam, well, yeah, because I'm using my hand to film. I did have it on a tripod filming me for the third person segments. Okay, I don't want to become a broken record, because, but he is a broken record. So, you know, there's a chance I will become a broken record. Yet again, uh, he said, oh, don't always criticize him for me, me for this, you guys. Again, this is not a criticism, this is a parody. It says it there in the fucking title. When Weird Al Yankovic, like, puts out a song, the original artist doesn't go, Ooh, why is he criticising me? No, not that Weird Al Yankovic talks like Phil, but <laughs> you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's fucking stupid. And um, as for the shaky cam thing, well, it's because I'm using my hand to film. Well, obviously. Like, I mean... 
But it's not just that. It's not about the fact that you're using your hand to film. That's why it's shaky. I film stuff with, you know, with my hand. Like, you know, you don't always have a tripod or whatever. I don't shake that much. We've seen it when you're just sat down on your fucking, uh, like, pre-streams. You Level 1 Pragius. You're shaking like there's a fucking earthquake going on. Back and forth. That, that you just shake all the time. It's just always back and forth, swaying, swaying. And I, I think before you said, it's because my bed back, you guys. But in the same sort of fucking storyline, you, you move to Seattle. Uh, because Seattle has the, the wizards, you guys, that create magic Seattle air that cures your back. Remember, that was your whole reason for moving to Seattle, even though you weren't in a financially good place and you already had a Kiando, which you hadn't sold yet, so you had two homes. But it was fine because, you know, your bad back was going to be cured by the magic air. But yet you, you're still swaying. What's going on, Seattle? Where's the magic air? And you notice he keeps going with his nose. That's because I have post-nasal drip. And when I eat, my post-nasal drip tends to kick in. For some reason, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like humidity or heat or cold but when i start to eat my post nasal drip kicks in let me tell you guys something all right and i'm not trying to get sympathy or whatever it's not nice if i every time i eat a meal i've got snot dripping down the back of my throat so i can't fully enjoy meals like other people do because every single time i try to eat i have to deal with that and i have to be clearing my throat and blowing my nose but half the time when my wife makes dinner i have to have tissues at the table so when i'm eating i can blow my nose to taste the food this is hilarious. He loves doing the, the victim thing. He can't help himself. I'm not trying to gain sympathy, you guys. And then he goes on this massive fucking, like, rant about how, I've got post-nasal drip. Sometimes I can't taste my food, you guys, because of the snut. Like, dude, like, you're acting like you've got some sort of fucking really bad thing. You're making fun of my medical condition. Dude, I'm doing a parody of you, and you snort. So if I'm doing a parody of you, I need to snort. Like, it's, it's not really that deep. It's just a little joke. It's like you see, like, um, in TV shows when they, they, you know, they make fun of Stephen Hawkins or whatever. They do the I am Stephen Hawkins voice. And he doesn't go, oh, that's a medical condition. Like, well, he doesn't. he's dead now, so he wouldn't say anything. But you get, <laughs> you get what I mean? I'm, no, he's laughing at Stephen Hawkins, Jeff. What a fucking monster. Okay. But people think it's funny. Oh, that's funny. No, it's a medical condition. It's not funny. It's something I've had to deal with my whole life. It's not funny to make fun of someone for having a medical condition. It's something that's been prevalent in my videos for 15 years because I've always had it. I don't know why people think it's funny to make fun of someone for having a medical problem. Okay, Mr. Moral High Ground. I, I, I get it. So it's not funny to make fun of someone having a medical condition when that medical condition is something serious like post-nasal drip. But... It is okay to make fun of people for their race, is that right? And their sexuality, you, you're good with that. Like, and their, you know, their religion. You've done all that shit. That's fine. Oh yeah, uh, that, that's that's just uh, used to say that in 2010, before racism was invented, uh, you could say whatever you wanted on the internet. But heaven forbid, this fucking cunt over here talks about post nasal drip. Oh, get him out of here, fucking Nazi. Right? If this guy had. I don't know, uh, a chronic cough because he had a problem with his lungs or a problem with his throat. Would I make fun of him for chronically coughing? It's a thing I can't solve. I've been to doctors for it. There's no solution for it. It just happens. I've had it my whole life. It's hereditary. My dad has it too. Oh, make fun of me because I have to do this in my video so that I don't have snot pouring down everywhere in my, my respiratory system. Oh, you're really funny. You know, good on you that you don't have medical problems for people to make fun of. But make fun of me because, again, I'm a YouTuber who makes videos that are popular. I make money and a living doing it. So make fun of my medical shortcomings because I'm the target. But God forbid the camera ever turned towards you because I'd probably find way more funny to make fun of on you than you ever did with me. <laughs> okay, there's a lot to unpack there. Right, fucking hell, he is mad, man. He is, bearing in mind, remember, let's just remember, this is me doing a parody on him eating noodles, right? And he is this fucking mad. He's acting like I walked into his house and stuck my cock in his gin. Like, that is what he's acting like. It's fucking ridiculous. Right, okay, so let's, let's, first of all, he goes, uh, whoa, uh, heaven forbid if this guy had a, a chronic cough, that uh, if, if I uh, said something about his cough, uh, I wouldn't do that. Or whatever the fuck he said. Right? If you were doing a parody, if I had a chronic cough and you were doing a parody on me, 
you would be doing a shit parody if you didn't do my chronic cough. Would you not? Like, if you would go, if say, uh, oh, Mr. Ludacris, the guy that coughs all the time, you do a parody on me and you don't cough, everyone's going to go, well, you didn't cough. Like, in the same way, if I didn't snort in in this video, everyone will go, well, that's not DSP because he snorts. But you're making it out like, how thin-skinned are you? The, the guy who was the king of hate, the greatest motherfucker on the internet, doing all your wrestling promos like your stone-cold Steve Austin. Also, going, oh, yeah, picking on me because I'm the easy target and I'm popular. A popular YouTuber. Dude, have you seen your views? Popular. Are we, is that the word we're using? Popular. I don't know, man. That's a bit of a stretch. Like, you literally, your comment section is dead. It's so dead that you have to beg people to leave you a comment. Just going, guys, even if you don't watch the videos, just leave a comment saying, uh, I'm here for the algorithm. How can you be happy with that? No one's watching my shit content, but at least they're writing, I'm here for the algorithm. How fucking... Un Jesus Christ. Anyway, yeah, um, and also, the, the last thing he said there was, Heaven forbid, the camera's put on you, because I find a lot more things to make fun of you than uh, you would of me. Alright, well, I mean, I have videos on my channel where I show my face, so do it. Fucking do it, dude. See if I cry like a little bitch. Like, if you do that. If you want to, you have permission to react to any of my videos. If you want to react to a video where I show my face, and um, do the one where I um, call you out for um, your Project 7 scam. Do that. That would be good, because that's got criticisms in it. Um, yeah, and if you want to make fun of my face and go, this guy's ugly, I won't come out and go, ooh, look at him making fun of my... The other thing is, I'm not actually making fun of you. Like The camera's not pointing at me in this video, but the video I'm mocking, the, the cup noodle video, doesn't show your face. So I'm not mocking your appearance in this, vid in this parody. So what are you talking about? But sure, yeah. You, you you go ahead. Like you 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 make a video like fucking like mocking me and see how hard I cry. But you know that's the difference between them and me. Anyway, let's continue. This guy's hilarious so far. So I can't point at things. That's not allowed. And God forbid I have a medical problem. Okay, let's continue. What other ingenious things he'll come up with to criticize me with? So for those of you watching, I'm trying this. Pot noodle. Yes, pot noodle. I'm not even kidding. I'm trying pot noodle. Um, and because it worked out so well last time, uh, I've, on my other DSL tries it, where I tried microchips and I had to learn to use a microwave, which was a real piece of shit, by the way, and um, uh, I, I basically I had the stream chat. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to fast forward because so far nothing's happened. I actually want to see when he starts making this, how he does it and how he makes fun of me. I'm just going to fast forward this because nothing's happened. <laughs> I'm glad that you said that because that tells me that I'm doing a good parody. Because in your videos, particularly your DSP tries it, nothing happens. It's boring. So the fact that you're finding this video boring that you're having to fast forward for me rambling is l literally me doing my job. It's the same with anything. Before you eat the noodles, you're going, Ooh, back in uh, 2010, when I was the hardest thing on YouTube, you guys, I wanted to eat some noodles. Or like... Before you play a game, people just want to come watch you play the game. You go, oh, originally, I did this playthrough back in 2010 when I was the hardest thing on YouTube, you guys. And people have to sit through it, and they're like, I'll just shut the fuck up. Now you know how it feels. Okay, here we go. This is what I want to see when he actually gets to it. This doing in there, someone at the factory has dropped some sort of sachet in here. I could easily sue, because I could have easily have eaten this and choked to death. So, not a good start. What? Now, as we look in, we see kind of a powdery substance. What is this? I mean, look. That does not look appetizing. Now, in Final Fantasy, you have to uh, pay a thousand gil for this, which I'm going to assume is about ten million dollars, okay? So basically, Square... Anyone having fun yet? Anyone laughing? I am. I, I, I was laughing so hard when I saw this. It was unbelievable. From the first snore I did, he was fucking livid. <laughs> he was like, this guy is basically Hitler. <laughs> it was, it was uh, yeah, I laughed so hard that my stomach was legit hurting when I was watching how angry this, vid this six-year-old video of me eating noodles made him. Do I do this in my DSP tries? Do I shove my fingers into the raw food that's not cooked? What, what is he doing? Annex are saying that this is worth ten million dollars. Um, um, ar, 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 ar. yes, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, ten million dollars for powder. Did he just say ar, 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 ar? What does he think he's Popeye? He thinks I sound like Popeye. 
Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Like, you sound like Popeye, but you look more like fucking, was it, Bluto? Like, is that his name? I don't know. But, yeah, no, your laugh is more of a ack, ack, ack. But I guess I just went ack, 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 ack. I can't even remember how I did it. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't know. That, that's just, this was this was all done in one take, as you probably guessed. I just, like, basically was just pulling things out of my ass and just saying whatever. I was just basically doing every DSP meme that I could think of at the time. It's quite annoying because, uh, obviously, this is quite an old video now, and obviously there's so many more great DSP memes, like the, what do I mean by this, when he says something obvious, like, oh, I ate a sandwich. What do I mean by this? I mean, I consumed a sandwich. Or when he says zero, he says it twice. Like, I had zero support. Zero. Like, there's so many great memes that, but obviously, you know, it was six years old, guys. I could only work with what I had. Also, I like the fact that when I put my fingers in the powder in the video, he goes, do I ever do that? Do I ever touch the raw food? Like, it doesn't have to be, like, fucking 100% accurate. Like, later on, he, he goes on about this later, about the stream chat as well. Um, well I guess you'll see that when it comes up. Uh, it's not fucking cocaine, okay? <gasps> so, anyway, I digress. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, now we have to pour the boiling water into uh, into this. I'm laughing now because what you could tell, all he did is he tried to take my mannerisms and shove them in to act like it's funny. Just because you're impersonating someone's speech or mannerisms doesn't mean it's funny. There's He hasn't done a single thing insightful or funny yet. Oh, I haven't done an insightful or funny thing in my noodle video. Like, coming from Mr. Shitty Dicks over here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I wasn't insightful in my video mocking you. Oh, it's not meaningful content, you guys. What the fuck? Also, you just... Oh, this guy's just impersonating me and uh, copying my mannerisms. Yes, it's a parody, you fucking dumbass. That's the point. You fucking idiot. It's a parody. Do you not know what a parody is? And I'm exaggerating, like, your, uh, sort of mannerisms to, you know, make it for comic effect. It's a parody. Also, if you go, oh, it's not funny when you're just mocking someone's uh, mannerisms and, and, and speech. Well, well, what about when you do your Chinaman voice? Is how you find that funny? Well, how, but that's just you mocking like a stereotypical Chinese person's speech. Is that insightful? Is that is that what I should be doing, Phil? Like you know, I'm genuinely interested in your feedback here because I too want to have uh, about fucking five viewers watch my fucking videos and have people in my comment section going, "Oh, I'm here to help the algorithm." I haven't watched the video though because it's fucking boring. Okay. Um, uh, so it, it needs to be pulled up to the, uh, the fill level. <laughs> yes, the fill level. I'm not even kidding. It says the fill level, yes. Um, so, let's, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Let's do that now. So, yes, having to pour. I mean, the, the, the noodle doesn't explain. It doesn't explain where the fill level is. I'm guessing it's that line there that says fill. But, you know, it doesn't, doesn't actually explain. So... He's, he's just repeating things that I say. It doesn't have any sense to it. Like, if I said, that, oh, it doesn't actually explain, it would be because I'm doing something where something's not explained. He literally just said, it is explained. There's a line on it that says fill level. But they don't explain what the fill level is. But it did. It's on the cup. So, taking something I said as a mannerism and interjecting it into this is not funny. It just makes you stupid. Bollocks. That's not true. Oh, I don't say it, the game does, it doesn't explain... Unless it doesn't explain. No, you say, oh, the game doesn't explain and things like that all the time. You did when when they do actually explain. You did it the other day with Starfield. I was watching this video where you were trying to do a grav jump and the game told you to put power into the grav drive and you were going, oh, what's going on with this? Very nice. Oh, oh they, they totally broke this up. It's trash. They totally ruined it. It's trash. Look at this nonsense. What am I supposed to do? And then the stream chat go, put power in the grav drive. And you're like, oh, I was supposed to know that. It said on the screen, you idiot. Like, it said on the screen, you fucking idiot. But, so you do. You do say it doesn't explain when it does explain. It's because you just don't pay attention. Because, well, you're always looking at the stream chat for hand-holding. It makes you miss things. And also, you need glasses. Because you're fucking squinting over half the time. Like, going, I can't see what it says, you guys. Well, you need glasses then, don't you? Also, how many times have people seen this where he goes, Oh, my eye's burning. Ah! Oh, my eye's burning, you guys. Look at this nonsense. That's not normal. 
That's not normal, mate. People's eyes don't just burn randomly. You need to get yourself to an optician's, like, and also a gym while you're at it. All you're doing is repeating what I've said out of context from what I would have actually say. It. I don't think this guy actually understands the concept of parody. I don't think he understands it at all. All you're doing is repeating a saying that I say. That's not parody. No, I think it's you that doesn't understand parody, you fucking moron. It's funny, like, I don't know whether you don't understand parody or whether it's because you're so butthurt that the parody is about you that you're playing dumb and pretending, oh, he's just doing imitations, you guys, and saying things I'd say out of context, right? Let me read to you the definition of a parody, right? An imitation of the style of a particular writer, artist, or genre with deliberate exaggeration for comic effect. Is that literally not what I'm fucking doing? Like, I'm saying things that you're doing with your mannerisms and putting on a GSP voice, right? I'm doing all that shit and I'm exaggerating stuff for comic effect. But you seem to have this sort of weird, sort of twisted thing of what a parody should and shouldn't be. Like... Uh, we'll get we'll get more to that onto that as the video goes because there's some stuff that happens in a bit where he kind of blurs the lines on what he thinks is a parody. He kind of contradicts himself basically, but you'll see. Okay, so as we can see now, uh, the, the hot water's in, and it's become less of a powder. Okay, so we're uh, as you can see look, that does not look appetising. Basically, this is just like a, a I guess student food. For those idiots that instead of getting a full-time adult job and full-time adult house, they actually think that education is key. Well, you're a fucking idiot, because look what you're eating. Well, I'm getting paid thousands of dollars from Patreons and eating lobster and steak. Go do you see? I mean, do you see where it all stirs from? I mean, he just revealed it right there. Absolutely. He absolutely is saying, oh, you see... Phil's rich because he has all this money because he makes YouTube videos and he doesn't deserve it. He's an asshole. So that is it, it, one. There you go. This is incredibly similar. This is just this running pattern that I've seen over the years. The people who dislike me the most are the people who secretly are the most jealous. I seriously think the gout has taken over your brain. Uh, I don't know how you've deluded yourself into thinking that people are just... You think... Do, do, really? Like, I know you're probably not watching this, right? But if you do happen to watch this and actually sit through this this far in the video without actually crying, right? Uh, let me actually ask you. Do you really, really, really think that anyone's jealous of you? Look at you. Like, you're a fucking gout-ridden, patchy beard moron who is in, like... A marriage where his wife would rather play Starfield than spend quality time with him on their on your day off. You you fucking have to beg people for money to pay your TXs. You have to beg people to comment on your videos. Things like I'm here for the algorithm because no one actually watches your videos because they're fucking boring. You struggle to maintain like fucking viewers, uh, like people attending your streams on the on demand on YouTube, you guys, or on the streams. Why the fuck would anyone want to be you? And if I was gonna be, say, if I'm going after you because I'm jealous of people who are successful YouTubers. Why would I not go after someone who's actually, I don't know, a successful YouTuber? Why would I go after you? You're not successful. You're shit. You're shit at doing your job. You can't even entertain your fucking audience. You're like, uh, no one in the chat's talking to me, you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't talk about sports. I don't know about sports. Oh, yeah, everyone in the chat's dead. So, uh, yeah, well, uh, no one's talking to me. So I don't know what I'm going to say. No one's talking to me. You don't. You don't know how to entertain your fucking audience. Unless they tell you what to talk about. And you don't know how to play the game. Unless they tell you how to play the game. You're fucking useless. If I was jealous of successful YouTubers. You're not a YouTuber that I'd go after. I, 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 I mean, I don't like you. Yes, I don't like you. I think you're a massive cunt. But it's nothing to do with you being a successful YouTuber. It's because you're a hypocritical, manipulative, narcissistic piece of shit. Who scams people. And has done for years. You're fucking, like in a position where you get to play games for a living and rather than be some happy nice guy you're some fucking miserable cunt who always wants more it's not enough money you guys need more money uh, need more money guys people aren't supporting you are a fucking miserable bastard who thinks he works hard how many times have you heard him say i've worked my ass off i'm busting my ass you guys and his definition of busting his ass is playing chrono trigger and doing voice acting air quotes 
Like, ooh, yeah. So when someone's actually at their real job, busting their ass, like, fucking, I don't know, 8 to 12 hours, whatever, at a warehouse, comes home, they're fucking knackered, put on their favourite content creator, DSP, and then have to listen to, hear this fat, fucking gout-ridden hippopotamus moan about, ooh, my, my throat's hurting you, guys, I'm doing voice acting, oh, fuck off. But, yeah, if you think that anyone's actually jealous of you, then <laughs> you seriously are deluded. It's true. This guy is insanely jealous that I'm able to make YouTube videos and make a living doing it. So he makes a video like this trying to make fun of me. He makes fun of my medical condition. He makes fun of my mannerisms of what I say. He hasn't done a single thing funny yet. All he's doing is ad, ad verbatim repeating things that I do without context, you see? But I just, again, this is a common thing that people do. And they say, oh, you see, this is funny. What is funny about this yet? Yeah, I still have, if there was a joke that razzed me or something, I'd be like, okay, there hasn't been a single joke that razzed me yet. And we've watched, this is the second video in a row of this style that hasn't had a valid thing to say yet. I just want to point out something, right, that's really funny. He's, he's saying that um, I've not said a single thing that's funny. You know, my video's not funny, you guys. And all this, oh, it'd be good if I had something that razzed you. And basically saying, you know, the video's boring. This is a parody of you. This is the whole fucking point. You're basically, believe it or not, insulting yourself. Yes, I'm doing a video where I'm copying your mannerisms and imitation, uh, imitating you and doing all this sort of stuff, right? And then you're saying I'm boring, I'm not funny or whatever. That's the point. Did look at how long the video is. The video is always like 17, 18 minutes long. I purposely, and I do it with all my uh, DSP tries it parodies, I make them long and boring. That's the point, because your parody, your, well, all your videos, but your um, DSP tries it, are boring. You have a video where you try food, and you give some sort of fucking four-hour backstory before you even eat the food. It's boring. I even, like said it in this video, I swear that, like, I, I found your video boring. And it's laughable how boring it is. So you go in like... Oh, he's not saying anything insightful or funny. Neither do you. Neither did you in your original cup noodle video. Like, you, <laughs> that's the point. I'm mocking it. If I mocked you and I didn't make the video fucking boring and whatever, then it's not an accurate parody. That's the point. But the thing is, like, you know, and I don't like to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Like, my, the, the fucking pot noodle video is funny. People do find it funny because it's mocking you. It's going... Your video is just boring. You're being you. It's boring. Whereas I'm going, hey, look how boring this hippo is. And people are like, oh, God, it's funny. Like, you see, read the comments in it. There's no comments on my Pot Noodle video going, I'm here for the algorithm. It's full of people going, oh, my God, you've nailed this guy's mannerisms. This is so funny, etc. Right? Whereas, I don't know, I, I wouldn't even want to look at your I mean, Cup Noodle uh, video comments, but I'm pretty sure you haven't got, like, as many as my Pot Noodle parody, and I'm pretty sure that they're not as positive. But, yeah, like... Uh, wait a minute, are you jealous of me? Is that what's happening here? That Did I make a better noodle video than you? In fact, did I inspire you? Dude, your noodle video is the same as mine. Like, yeah, I think you did. I think you got inspired by my noodle video. The same way that you inspired Review Brat, I inspired you. Wow. All right, let's continue. We'll watch a little more. Ready? Going on staycations. Okay. I digress. <clears throat> Here you go. I digress, clearing my throat. So, that's the pot noodle there, by the way, for anyone that's uh, having trouble keeping track. Um, uh, oh, God. People on the stream chat uh, are saying that... Um, I don't stream DSP Tries It. What are you talking about? I don't stream DSP Tries It. So why would you say there's a stream chat? You... <laughs> You could. What the hell? Oh, good. We got to this bit. Right. I, I said this earlier, right? This is what I wanted to come back to. So, remember earlier on when I touched the, the, the powder of the noodles? And he went, When do I ever do that? When, when in DSP tries it? Have I ever touched the food? And now here I am. Like, obviously, I've, I've made a joke that I'm streaming DSP tries it. And I'm talking to the stream chat. And now he's going, When do I ever uh, stream DSP tries it? I never do that. Like, okay. Right, first of all, you have streamed DSP Tries It, so shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> second of all, you're feasting with the king, uh, what, feasting with Phil, whatever the fuck it's called now, because you're not the king of hate, are you? No, because you're so positive now. Um, your feasting with Phil thing is basically a DSP Tries It that you do live. But anyway, forget about that. Yeah, let's say I agree with you. Let's say you don't do DSP Tries It live. Right, so you're now criticising me for saying that this is stupid because you don't use the stream chat and DSP tries it, right? And my parody. So, right, 
let's get this straight. You think that my parody of you should be accurate. It should be accurate, so I shouldn't touch the powder because you've never touched raw food in DSP Tries It, apparently. And I shouldn't have the stream chat because you never have the stream chat in DSP Tries It. So that makes my video not accurate. It's not factual. And that means that the video is not good because it's not accurate. But at the same time, you don't want me to snort or do your mannerisms or imitate you. Huh? But you said that it needs to be accurate and you don't do these things. So don't... You need me to do the things that you do, but not do the things you do. What? I don't get it. What, what, which is it, you fucking fat moron? What do you want me to do? Oh, you're doing my voice and making fun of my medical condition because I snort all the time. He shouldn't do that. Right, I won't do that. Oh, now he's doing things that I don't do. Well, what do you want me to do? You fucking idiot. You don't know fucking anything. You're so fucking dumb. The thing is, the side scrollers... Oh, this is the other thing about your stupid, like, fucking air quotes medical condition, right? Like, and I'm sorry for all the people that have post-nasal drip out there. I actually know people that have post-nasal drip, by the way. I, I spoke to someone the other day about uh, this whole situation, and they said, I, I have post-nasal drip. And they're like, it's no big deal. Like, they... they no, I, didn't, I didn't know. I was like, oh, I didn't know. Because they don't snort every five seconds, but they have it. And they don't talk about it as if they've got, like, fucking, like, you know, some terminal illness or whatever. But anyway, what I was going to say is, about your fucking post-nasal drip thing that you could go on about, how come you did the side-scrollers interview and you never fucking snorted for five fucking hours? How the fuck does that work? Like, and now you want me to cry because, oh, oh Phil can't chase his food when he's eating his gin, you kate. Like, oh my god. Oh, give generously. Like, fucking, it's so stupid. But yeah, I really wanted to make that point. I'm so glad I got to make it. It's like, he wants me to be accurate with it by, oh, I, I don't use the stream chat. Why is he using the stream chat? And, oh, why is he touching the food? Oh, that's not accurate. Oh, but now he is being accurate, and he's mocking my voice and snorts. Like, oh, that's accurate. W what an asshole. What? Make up your fucking mind, you fucking dumbass. This is a very lazy way for me to make money. I'm basically just filming myself eating noodles. Well, do you know what? I'm going to block you. I'm, I'm, I'm some fucking idiots in the stream Again, chat. so he's jealous that I made money doing a taste testing series. By the way, I was not the only person to ever do a taste testing series. I'm certainly not the last. There's people now who their entire channel is taste testing and they get millions of views and millions of dollars doing it. What is the criticism here? There isn't one, you fucking dweeb. It's a fucking parody. I've said this like, I can't believe you're watching a parody video and go, where's the criticism? There isn't. It's not a criticism video. I mean, I guess it is in a way you could look between the lines and if you want to know what the criticism is, the criticism is that you're boring and you make overly long videos about simplistic fucking things like eating noodles and you don't even get it right. You use a fucking spoon to eat noodles. Like, that's it. And again, Stop pulling the je jealousy card. It's like you live in 2010. Back in 2010, you guys. I remember like when I started doing videos in 2013 on this channel that people would always pull the your, your jealous card. But everyone grew out of it, apart from Phil. It's still there. You're jealous. And it, you're, the your jealous card only works if you're successful, which you're fucking not. So stop playing that fucking card. This is unbelievable. This is very difficult. There's boiling water involved. Which I could easily scold myself, by the way. And uh, I'm taking a huge risk here. Right, so. Uh, uh, okay, so, it, uh, so we, we take a look now. Uh, oh my god. Look at the... <laughs> look at this! Ar, 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 ar. Look. Here again, there's the Popeye laugh, because I laugh like Popeye, apparently. Okay. Look at this! Yes. The noodles, they look like, um, they look like little dicks. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> they, they look like little dicks. Like, yes. Yes. Here's, here's, um, a, a giant jar of, uh, of a pot dicks. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I made DSP tries it for about 10 years. It started back when I was vlogging, and I retired it like maybe five years ago or so, okay? Officially. I, do, I bring it back every once in a while. Can you tell me once, ever, in the history of DSP tries it, 
that I said that the food that I was about to eat looked like a bunch of dicks. I just... Let's watch a different video to cleanse our palate from this junk, shall we? Okay, I let that clip run on a bit longer than like the others because I, I needed to, right? First of all, I want to say the fact that <laughs> I made him do his little stupid uh, clicking on his laptop to make the screen have that little red background thing that he likes to do. And the fact that it's so funny that it's not even seamless when he does it. He has to like go, whoa, and then stop. Turn around, you see his fat fucking face looking at the, his laptop, then you hear click, click. You know it's coming. It's not funny. It should be spontaneous. You should have, the second you stop my video, you should have instantly been able to, without looking, click the thing and then have that screen and then do your little stroking of your patchy beard goatee. Uh, and then, <laughs> patchy beard goatee, you know, <laughs> patchy goatee, whatever. Um, you, and then it should yeah it should have been seamless but because you you, you when, as soon as you stopped I was like oh my god he's gonna click the fucking screen like I knew it and I'm glad you did it because it's great because only things that like you really piss you off seem to make you click that screen so I am honoured that I made you do that second of all again you want accuracy when did I ever say the food tastes like dicks like <laughs> again so you, now now you want accuracy yeah, I can only say things like you say all he's doing is copying my mannerisms and saying things that I've said. And now I'm saying something that you apparently have never said, and you're like, I've never said that. What is it? Stop contradicting yourself. Also, I want to point out that that joke, um, it looks like part of dicks. This is me saying it. That's not funny. No, it isn't funny calling them a pot of dicks. It's not supposed to be funny. It's a th not a joke that I'm making because I think it's funny. That's something that you would say. You would say it looks like a part of dicks because your commentary is, oh, uh, what should I say? Shall I make a dick joke? An ass joke? Or shall I uh, make a joke about shit? Oh god. Oh, the, the decisions, decisions. Okay, hey guys. Um, I know this w would be seamless for you, I guess, because it's the same video. This is, I'm now recording on a new day. Everything you just heard, I recorded yesterday, which was uh, Monday. It's now Tuesday I'm recording. Uh, he has it. He never mentioned me on the level one podcast, so I've got nothing to say about that uh he didn't mention me because he forgot that liza p came out so he kind of cut it short and abruptly finished so he didn't say anything about me uh yeah i'll give a few shout outs actually we're about to watch another video from memeology in a minute but yeah i wanted to thank um duty streams snort hogan uh memeology and there's a couple of other people i'm sorry i forget that um you know basically made videos on the whole this whole thing uh yeah so yeah thanks to them it was awesome and anyone that anyone if i've missed you i did give a couple of shout outs like on twitter for people anyone that talked about this it was great oh there was someone else um oh shit hang on yeah i wanted to recommend this video uh by king sly t um he reacted to you know dsp reacting to my parody he streamed it um and his his response was brilliant it's exactly like i, I was like this guy is saying exactly what I would say. I mean, it's like he got what, what the parody was supposed to be. And I'm not saying that, you know, everyone that watched it didn't get it. I, mean, I know it was just funny to see Phil not get it and then watch this guy actually make this video. And he was just like, yeah, he understood what I was going for with it. And I just found it entertaining. So, yeah, I'd recommend watching it. It's quite funny. But anyway, yeah, the video we're going to watch now is from Memeology. And this is after Phil Rage quit my pot noodle parody. He then started up another video, but he was still so butthurt. He continued to basically talk shit about me. I'm not offended or anything. But the thing is, that is the average intelligence level of the person that doesn't like me. Do you understand? That's the intelligence level. That was not insightful. That was not funny. That was not even a criticism. It was just, let's take mannerisms that Phil says and repeat them. Let's make fun of a medical condition he legitimately has, has had his whole life he hates having. He can't even enjoy food with it, but let's make fun of him for it because, you know, he's an easy target. Let's be jealous that, essentially, he makes money making videos, right? And then, let's throw in random shit that literally he doesn't do, but let's act like he does it and misrepresent him.
Dude, do you ever get bored of being fucking boring? What's funny is he goes on a little bit to say, like, he claims what he's doing now is he's roasting me. He actually acts like this little thing that he's saying destroys me. Like, his criticisms are, you know, that I'm jealous, that all I do is mimic his voice and mannerisms, but also I'm not accurate because I add things that he doesn't do in there, right? These are all his criticisms that he roasts me for. Dude, you're so fu- It's like when he fucking... Someone provides evidence. And this happens so many times. People go, Phil, you did this scummy thing. Here's evidence of you doing it. And then he'll go, no, I didn't. And that's it. And then later on, I go, I already debunked that. Like, just because you said you've debunked it doesn't mean you've debunked it. And just because you said that you roasted me doesn't mean that you fucking roasted me. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, I could repeat myself because he's... I've, I've responded to everything he just said in this clip here. But he's just repeating it. Like, and in his brain, gout-ridden brain, he's like, oh, yeah, I totally destroyed that guy. Like, no, you're fucking stupid. That's the average level of the person who doesn't like me on the internet. Do you see why I don't really care about the shit that they say and do and I ignore them? Like, I'm not kidding. Those are the first time I've ever seen those two videos. I don't watch that kind of stuff. There's a good reason I don't. Because there's nothing valid to that at all. That was a complete waste of everyone's fucking time. It had nothing valid to say. It had nothing to add. It had no real criticism of anything. It was just repeat things for the sake of recognizing a meme and making fun of someone we don't like. That's the difference. It's not criticism. It's memeability. And memeability is stupid. It's the most brain-dead, mouth-drooling level of recognition you can get. Yeah, joking about dicks and shit and and asses is is really intelligent. Yeah, my my, my content that that I, he just reviewed is fucking for mouth droolers. I, he always talks about the intelligence. His his attitude of if people don't like me, they're idiots. Oh, this is the intelligence of someone that doesn't like me. Also, if someone doesn't like you, they're an idiot. Wow, what a very mature mindset to have. Wow, fucking hell. And then to go like his content is uh, nothing of value. I'm mimicking you, you idiot. You just insulted yourself. It's like in that episode of The Simpsons where uh, the police are having a picnic and the mob are having a picnic and then the mob shoot the mustard on the police's table and then the police are like, hey, we just, that was your mustard, so you just shot your own mustard. And they're like, ah, nuts. This is what it's like. It's like, hey, I'm mocking your content, so you just insulted your own content. That's the point. I did this video to show how boring your content is and how no, of no value it is. And if you think that that's what you got from it, then I did my fucking job. Yes, Phil, I agree with you for once. Your content is boring and adds nothing of value. And again, you know, since you keep repeating it, it's not a fucking criticism. It's a parody. It says it in the fucking title. I mean, I probably shouldn't have a go at you because your eyes were probably burning. Oh, my eyes, you guys. Get some glasses, not gunner ones. Get some proper glasses. Go to Spec Savers, you fucking hippo. It's a meme that Phil says this. It's a meme that Phil might, you know, or snort because he has post nasal drip. Phil says dicks a lot in his videos. That's dumb memes. You know what I'm saying? That's not funny. That's not intelligent. That's stupid. But if, if saying dicks a lot is dumb and not intelligent, then... That means that your content is dumb and not intelligent. You just insulted yourself. What the fuck are you going on about? The, the, the way that... Oh, my parody, where I'm like basically mocking Phil, doing an impression of him, is for idiots. But a video of Phil like saying shitty dicks and making fun of like, you know, Chinese people or whatever is fucking great. It's top level, high intellect. Oh, Brian Cox watches DSP. Did you know that? All the high fucking Mensa people tune in to watch DSP, smoking their pipes, going, <laughs> shitty dicks, most good. Like, fuck off, man. You think your fans are intelligent? Look at Derek. Fucking ridiculous. If you made that video, you're stupid. If you watched that video and you thought it was funny, you're stupid. And you need to realize that. You need to look in the mirror and say, what the fuck am I watching and laughing at? There's tons of things on this planet that are insightful and meaningful. There's tons of criticisms of me on the internet that are way better than that. We watched some of them. Dude, if you want criticisms of you, then I have criticisms of you on my channel. You needn't, uh, you can look and you'll have my permission to react to all of them. Any of my rant videos, please. I would love for you to debunk or roast me on one of my rant videos. 
Go ahead. Also, I love his childish mentality of, like, if you like this video, you're stupid. If you make this video, you're stupid. You're just a poo-poo head. Like, that's literally what he's coming across as. Like, also, who does he think... Does he think that someone that enjoyed my video would go, I really enjoyed that video, and then watch Phil go, if you like that video, you're stupid. Does he really think anyone's going to go, oh, shit, really? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, no, I'm stupid. Oh, God. Oh, I better watch some intelligent content. Let's watch DSP, like, fucking mock someone on his stream for having depression. That's another thing I wanted to bring up. You talking about me making fun of your medical condition? How come you insulted, like, fucking one of your viewers when they were on your stream saying they had depression? You're like, oh, he's claiming he's got depression. Let's derail the whole stream, yeah. Let's derail the whole stream and talk about this guy. Look at this nonsense. How come you did that? Is that not you making fun of his medical condition? When apparently as well, you have depression. So if you have depression, you should know what it's like. So why are you basically making fun of this guy's medical condition, which you also have? I want to point out, by the way, the DSP's depression is not actually not actually being medically diagnosed. No. Phil has just said that he's got it. Because Phil's a doctor, you know. Phil self-diagnosed himself with depression. Phil's also a vet. Because when the vet tells Phil that his pet cat needs to have some tests done, Phil says, no, this nonsense. Like, I, I'm, I'm a trained vet, and I know that I don't need these tests. In the same way that I di diagnosed myself with depression, I've diagnosed my cat as being fine. Like, yeah, he's that intelligent, didn't you know? I would actually argue that this is how you don't play video that we watched, uh, was it last year, of Metal Gear Solid 2, was way better than what we just watched. Way better. And, you know, I don't like Evil AJ, but at least that video had valid things to say, and I can laugh at that and say, wow, my gameplay back then was trash. My gameplay was terrible. I was rushing through the game. It was a joke. But man, I can understand why people who liked the game didn't like me and and why this is how you don't play of this style could exist. Dude, fuck off. This this bit really like is like, oh. I, I, I posted something about this on Twitter, right? And But I'll, for those of you that don't have Twitter or X, um, I'll, I'll talk about it now. He's now like so angry with me that he thinks that what I do, he's like, oh, it's worse than this is how you don't play, you guys. The irony of this is that, and I'm going to sound like DSP a bit here, so I apologise, but back in 2013, when I made my first DSP uh, detractor video, I, the reason I made that video is because at the time, DSP was getting really butthurt and toxic about this is how you don't play, right? He basically called Evil AJ mentally ill. So I saw this, right? And I was, like, kind of surprised because no one was really calling this guy out. Don't get me wrong, there were other channels, but no one seemed to stand up and be like, hey, fuck you, why are you calling this guy mentally ill for making a funny video, right? So I did. I made a video, it's like, basically st sticking up for Evil AJ, right? And I got involved with it. And he was a toxic fucking piece of shit. I didn't know what was going to happen, but of course that video blew up and then, you know, everyone loved the video and I carried on making DSP videos, still making them to this day, obviously. But the point is, the reason that there's a detractor like me is because of how toxic you were uh, with the whole this is how you don't play thing. And now here you are, years later, saying that what I've done where I've mocked your noodle parody, uh, noodle video, is worse. Fuck off. And now you're going, oh, Evil AJ uh, and the Outsider, you guys, uh, make good content. Go go watch them. Fuck you. Like, and, I'm not, and that's not me saying fuck you. You know, Evil AJ, uh, well, I don't, think, I don't know if Evil AJ posts anything anymore. Uh, I can't remember. Um, but The Outsider, I, I watch The Outsiders, this is how you don't play religiously, right? So I'm not saying that, you know, oh, fuck you, their content is bad. I'm saying fuck you because that Phil is going to really say, now, this content type, this is how you don't play, that for years he said was stupid, and if anyone likes it, they're fucking idiots, is now going, oh, you should watch this instead of this noodle thing because, uh, it, yeah, it's actually intelligent. Fuck off, you said it was stupid. And now because you've said so, so originally you're like, don't watch it, it's, it's, it's fucking for uh, mentally ill people. So you don't want your fans watching it. Now it's, oh, it's fine to watch it now. It's intelligent. But don't watch my parody because now that's the thing that's mentally ill or stupid. How do we know that in like fucking 10 years time, someone's not going to have done some other anti-DSP video and you're going to go, this is stupid. You know what? This is actually more stupid than that noodle video. 
You should watch the noodle video because at least it's funny. But this new thing is bad. How do we know? You just change like your fucking like stance on things like to one extreme to the other. You went from hating this is how you don't play, saying it was mentally ill idiots, to now oh it's intelligent. And I'm sure there's ton of tons of that. For example, I've heard that there's really popular this is how you don't play with me playing from soft games back in the day, and I didn't get those. I totally get that. I will actually go out of my way and give Evil AJ and the people who made those more intelligent videos some credit. Because now that I've seen the worst out there, you can compare that with stuff that actually had merit. And I will I will give credit to those who made This Is How You Don't Plays that were good. That was actually good stuff. That shit we just watched for the last 25 minutes was complete trash. There was nothing to be said. There was no valid criticism. Memeable nonsense for morons with just no intelligence level at all. And that is the level of the person on the internet that doesn't like me. And that's what I'm dealing with on a daily basis. Hold on. Why am I being painted to be like fucking Satan now? Like I'm the worst of the worst. He's like, this is the common intelligent level of these people on the internet. And you're calling the outsiders and Evil AJ's uh, videos like... um intelligent but my stuff isn't intelligent i represent the common intelligence level of people that hate you newsflash the outsider and evil aj don't like you either so why am i stupid why is my intelligence level being called into question but that so the i represent i'm st you're gonna have to let me get my head around this i represent the common intelligence level of detractors right so i'm an idiot and i represent the common intelligence level but evil aj and the outsider who also don't like you make intelligent content what the fuck are you even saying? You just drivel, like, you're just so mad. What you're saying doesn't even make any sense. And what's funny is you could have just watched this fucking noodle video and just went, like, huh, that was pretty funny. Or, like, oh, yeah, whatever, I don't really get it, but whatever. And that would have, t nothing would have come of this. Like, nothing would have come of this at all. But you've blown it up to, uh, it's just stupid. And yeah, the outside on Evil AJ, neither of them like you. I'm sure you fucking know. Well, maybe you don't know about the outsider. I can't, I don't know if you've ever watched the outsider's videos. Like, as someone who watches all his, this is how you don't play videos. The outsider, like, will give his opinion of you. He, like, has text on the screen at certain times talking about what a fucking idiot you are, depending on what fucking stupid thing you're doing at that moment. He's not a fan of you. So, yeah, so if his content's intelligent, then you're basically saying there is intelligent detractors out there. Which there is, by the way, but, you know, not that you'd fucking admit that. Screwed incorrectly. What's hilarious is that Tractor D guy literally just started insulting and then says, I'm not supporting anymore, so fuck him, he's banned for good. He ain't coming back. He's an asshole. He fucking comes in here, and he starts saying toxic stuff about Derek, and he starts insulting me. You can go fuck yourself. Keep all, take all your fucking memberships with you, too. Asshole. Seriously, you're a fucking piece of shit. You're going to come in here and be toxic to everyone because you think you contributed? Fuck off. No one needs you here, all right? Ah, can't you just feel the positive, chill, meaningful content? Can't you just feel it? Like, this Tractor D guy, obviously, <laughs> was, like, on the on the brunt of, like, him fucking getting angry over my uh, video. He was obviously so pissed. He was like, zero tolerance. And he took it out on this guy. I saw a few things that this guy posted. Obviously, as Phil said, he mocked Derek. You don't mock Derek, you ice. Derek, Derek, Derek. See you later, Derek. You don't mock Derek. So he was obviously like got shit for that. But obviously, I wound Phil up enough to the point. But also, I did see this Tractor D <laughs> said uh, was saying about my video going, God, Phil, are you this thin skinned? Like, that this is offending you. So it's went along those lines. So he was kind of, in a way, sticking up for my video. Um, so, yeah. Who would have thought that someone called Tractor D was a detractor? It's funny. You can imagine Phil just like, look, it's like in Scrubs, where JD was making that show called Dr. Acula, and then they take away the uh, question, the full stop, and then it becomes Dracula. It's like, oh! Like this, to go, if you take the D from Tractor D and put it in front of Tractor... My God, it says detractor. He's there with his whiteboard. He's just worked out like, fuck me. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now, like, right. So after this happened, this little meltdown, um, it's still going on about it after he's gone away, had his fucking dinner. Um, and then later on, uh, I think this might have been the next day or it could have been later that day. I, I don't know. Either way, later on, after this has happened. Yeah, no, it was later the same day. He, I posted a tweet after seeing this. I posted a tweet. It just said something along the lines of, my noodle video broke DSP, right? And it got about 200 likes, right? It was, Boogie said it was his favorite tweet of all time. 
Even Hee Hee Productions liked it. <laughs> it was it was it was more epic than uh, DSP's pro Jared tweet. Yeah. Uh, so this tweet, Phil saw. Even though Phil's got me blocked on Twitter, he's had me blocked forever. Um, I don't know. Maybe in his Discord that he doesn't have, one of his like fucking um, pay pigs sent it to him. I, I don't fucking know. But he saw the tweet, and then he addresses it later on when he comes back on stream. So we're just going to watch him address that now. And this video is from uh, Duty Streams. The reaction was decent today, I would say. There was some good stuff, some really weird stuff. What can I say? What I find funny, I'll just say this. I'm going to talk about this tomorrow, actually, on the podcast more in depth, okay? So there were two videos that could be considered detractor videos, all right, from over the years. They weren't necessarily really nasty videos or anything like that. What? Fuck off. How was how it? Well, they weren't nasty videos. The way you responded to me, you said that I was a fucking idiot and all this sort of stuff and how I'm worse than this is how you don't play. Like, you said all this fucking shit about how it's nonsense and how it's a fucking moron and all this stuff. You, that I represent the common intelligence level of the people that hate you on the internet and it's the worst thing you've seen. And now you're like, oh, it wasn't that nasty. Fucking hell. Well, I'm glad it wasn't that nasty. What would you have said about me if it was nasty? You said that if you turned the camera around on me, you'd have a lot more fucking horrible things to say. You said all this shit. <laughs> I was making fun of your medical condition. I was basically Hitler. And now you're like, it wasn't that nasty. Well, why did you act like a complete fucking moron then? What What's that about? <laughs> why, why did you act like that? One of them was criticizing my gameplay of GTA 3 from like 12 years ago. And one of them was actually a parody of like a DSP tries it that I had done of cup noodles. So I'm watching and I'm realizing these aren't very good. You know, like I've seen much better. I've seen this is how you don't play videos that are much better quality. So I'm criticizing the videos much like anything else. And immediately my haters are going crazy. Oh my God, he doesn't get it. Blah, blah. I'm like, no, I get it. It's just that these videos suck much like most of the crap you guys put out. You could easily criticize me in an entertaining manner. You just failed to do so in the two videos you submitted for this week. <laughs> These videos are not entertaining, nor do they actually factually say anything about me. They're just terrible videos that you selected. No, you didn't get it. Don't say you got it. You didn't get it. You proved in your rant that you didn't get it. But some people did actually get it, thankfully. And some people found it funny as well. So, you just didn't get it. Like, you can fuck off. And you were all over the place with what you expected from it because it was a parody. And even though you go, oh, it didn't add anything, no uh, criticisms. Uh, well, you, you, why are you looking for criticisms in a video that's not a criticism video? That's stupid. That's like me watching, like, some sort of fucking, like, comedy video and going, oh, th this is not as serious as I would have liked. Well, no, obviously. Like, w what a stupid thing. Or, like, watching, I don't know, like a fucking... DSP video and expecting the high quality of Jontron. Like, obviously, that's the other thing with you comparing what I'm doing to uh, this is how you don't play. They're two completely different things. I go, oh, I've seen this is how you don't play. It's much better. What? That's like me watching one of your videos and going, oh, this is shit. I've seen Scarface. That's way better. What are you talking about? It's two completely different fucking things, you moron. But, yeah, you didn't get it. That was apparent you didn't get it. Like, uh, I was copying your mannerisms and mocking you and showing how boring your content is. But you didn't understand that. You could have found many, many better videos than this to submit, and you didn't. You submitted two of the worst possible fucking ones. And then, it's hilarious because I guess the video that I criticized, the parody DSP tries it, the guy who made it, I guess, posted it and goes, oh, I broke Phil. My video broke Phil. You didn't break me. I'm telling you, you suck. I basically roasted your ass showing how bad your fucking video was. You could have done much better, and it wasn't funny. It was just stupid. You're an idiot. You didn't even fucking break me. You're a dunce. <laughs> okay, right. <coughs> sorry. Oh, God. Oh, don't make fun of my chronic cough. <coughs> oh, uh, sorry. Okay. Um. Wow. Uh. Fucking hell. So... <laughs> You roasted me. Did I miss that? I've just watched like so much of this shit. I, I must have missed it. Where where did you roast me? Like also I love the way he's so like, 
Oh, the guy who posted the, the noodle video, I, I guess he he made a tweet saying he broke me. Don't say you guess I made a tweet, you little bitch. You know that I made a tweet saying I broke you. You saw it and you were crying more than you were at the ending of Chrono Trigger, probably. Fuck you. Oh, I guess he made a tweet. I don't know. Rumours were circulating. I'm too busy. He might have... Yeah, you know I made a tweet, you little fucking dweeb. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, oh, I think some nobody made a tweet trying to insult me. And I roasted you. I proved that you're an idiot. No, to who? Yourself? That's the only person that you did. Like I said, you know, just to go over it again for the millionth time, and I apologise, but he's bringing up the same fucking things. You. So basically, you roasted me by saying that, uh, I, oh, I'm copying your mannerisms and imitating you, which is not funny or entertaining. Also, I'm making fun of your medical condition. So I'm doing these things that are accurate to you. And then, oh, also, I'm adding things in that I never do. So you want me to be 100% accurate with you, but then also don't do things that you do. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm feeling the roasting. Yeah, I could have done so much better, but I'm a fucking idiot. I'm sorry, mate, but why on earth would I want to take advice on how to improve my content from someone who literally films videos of him playing WWE and then, like, letting the fucking game run, letting the AI play a Royal Rumble and just sitting down and watching... Fucking NPCs eliminate each other in a Royal Rumble. Oh, this guy's on the ball. Oh, I want to copy his fucking content. Why on earth? Your content is fucking shit. It's unbelievably shit. And that's what I was mocking in this parody. And the fact that you found my parody shit means that you hate your own content. Which, you know, at least I guess that shows some signs of intelligence. Look, because people that like your content are fucking idiots. Like, this is the common intelligence level of someone that likes DSP's content. You're so fucking angry at me that it literally has made my stomach hurt from laughing how, how angry that I've made you. Yet you're claiming that you're not angry and that you roasted me. You're, act you're so angry, you're acting as if I broke into your house and deleted your WWE Champions account. That is how angry you got over this, when all I did was make fun of your voice and do a couple of snorts and make a noodle video. Like, ooh, try not to cry too hard, fatty. <laughs> How do you not understand that I can criticize things on the internet and make you look like a jackass like I did? You didn't break me. It's me actually watching it for the first time in like seven fucking years and realizing how stupid my actual detractors are to think that that's quality stuff. It's junk. You, again, I actually enjoyed watching This Is How You Don't Play. Dude, if you can criticize me and make me look like a jackass on the internet, why haven't you? Because you haven't. <laughs> like you, could, oh, maybe you look like a jackass, did you? Where? And go, you didn't break me. Um... Well, if I didn't break you, why did you fuck off to go and eat your dinner and then you come back and you're still bitching about it and that you've actually stalked my Twitter and like are now crying over a tweet? Oh, you didn't break me, didn't I? Seems like you're the one who's been made to look a jackass, my friend, by a video that I uploaded six fucking years ago. I was playing my PlayStation when you were crying over this, man. I didn't know that some fucking six... Uh, yeah, noodle video that I made is fucking triggering some fucking gout-ridden hippo. Like, I didn't even fucking know, mate. It's hilarious that you, you're getting this angry that you think that somehow you've owned me. Also, did you notice that he slipped here? Because originally he went, I've not seen any of these videos. But here he just goes, oh, I'm just reacting to a video I've not seen in seven years. So you did watch it then. What? Because also, it's funny that like when he uh, started watching the video... He said, oh, I guess he made fun of the noodle parody that I did several years ago. It sounds like you've watched it before, mate. Like, just saying. And I think that was a little bit of a slip that you obviously did watch it back in the day. Which explains a lot because, you know, you have me blocked on your Twitch, on your Twitter. So you know who I am. I know that you saw the Panda Lee video that I made years ago. Because I know that fucking Panda Lee blocked me the second I uploaded that. So I know. And I know, I don't know if it's still a fact, but when you type Panda Lee into YouTube, that my video was the top thing that was searched. So I know that that was seen. And also, I've got no fucking hatred towards Panda Lee or anything like that. Obviously, she's moved on. I'm just saying this is obviously what was happening back then. And fair play to her for getting out of there. You know, we just need Cat to get out of there because that place is toxic. Uh, but, yeah, I failed to... I must have missed the part where you made me look like a jackass. But some of the stuff that these fucking detractors put out is just atrocious. You know, I wouldn't wipe my ass with it. Okay. That being said, enough of that nonsense. Let's go ahead and uh, let's boot up the uh, the game here. 
Hybrid says rent free. How, rent free what? You think they live rent free in my mind? I watched two videos that were submitted today to react to. How are they living rent free in my mind? What are you saying? See what I mean? They, they just spout out meaningless drivel. A meme, a meaningless phrase. Rent free. Rent free what? You guys submitted the videos for me to watch, so I did. That's why I reacted to them. How is that living rent free in my head? It's a tremendous stupidity. No, the tremendous stupidity is coming from you. And I don't know whether it's genuine stupidity or that you just say this, like, because you're just trying to, like, you don't know how to get out of it, so you're just saying this stuff. You know what he means by rent free. He doesn't mean, oh, they're living rent free in your head because you reacted to the videos. Oh, I reacted to two videos that were submitted, you guys. How's that rent free? No, it's rent free because you're still talking about them. If you reacted to these videos and were like, whatever, they're crap and just moved on and didn't say anything, then he wouldn't say rent free. It's not because you reacted to them because people submitted them. You fucking are still going on about it. That's why it's rent free. And yeah, like I fucking triggered you. And do you know what? It's fucking funny. I'm so glad like the, <laughs> that I, you know, got that kind of reaction out of you because I think you're a massive cunt and good. So, yeah, God, can you imagine if he sees it? Like, not that he would. Imagine if he reacted to this. All he's doing is saying I'm fat and making fun of my beard. How's that funny? How's that funny, you guys? Like, <laughs> but, yeah, but he does this thing all the time. Like, he's trying to uh, misunderstand. I don't know what you mean by rent-free. Yes, you do. And the same way, like, when you're watching this parody, you go, I don't understand what he's trying to do. Yes, you do. You know that I'm mocking you and the fact that your content's boring by making a, a video that takes a while, ages to get to the point when all you need to do is eat noodles and say how the noodles taste. You spend fucking 20 minutes talking bullshit. That's all I'm doing. Like, obviously, I'm mocking your content because it's shit. But this video's gone on long enough. I want to say thank you, everyone, for watching. If you're stuck with it this long, like, listening to me talk, because I don't know how long it's going to be. Thank you so much uh, for watching. I've had so much fun with this whole thing. Thank you for everyone that's made videos reacting to Phil's reaction on this. And everyone, all my new followers on Twitter, all the new subscribers. I've got loads, I've got more subscribers and more Twitter followers, or ex-followers, since Phil's done this. So thank you, Phil, for the engagement and helping me with the algorithm. If you made it this far into the video, guys, please write, I enjoyed, you know, something like, I enjoyed the video, I'm here to help with the algorithm. That would, <laughs> that would really help. Um, yeah, but I want to say one thing before I end the video, and this is a very important thing. So I want everyone to listen up and clip this. Phil, when I made that noodle video and you reacted to it, for you, that was the most traumatic day of your life and it made you cry like a little bitch. For me, that was Sunday. Go fuck yourself, Phil. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, guys.